I'm about to get ready for dinner to go today. But every time before I get ready for dinner to go, I have to clean everything out of the refrigerator and make sure that I have space. I get a big old bowl because we have lots of scraps. And I just start pulling out everything. Don't let that happen. Spaghetti sauce took a ride. But thankfully, it didn't land on my foot. So there's a win. I cook so much during the week that things just get pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. I need a refrigerator that is about twice this long and half this deep. Thank goodness we have gross. Thank goodness we have pigs because they get a feast every Tuesday or Thursday when I clean out the refrigerator. Now I skipped last week. We had some things going on. I'm planning a wedding. Had some appointments we had to keep. And um, so I didn't get to clean out last week. That's why this looks so abominable. My kids will eat leftovers if they can see them, but this is usually what happens. Did you get that at your house? Just standing and looking into the fridge without any recognition coming across the face at all. So usually they just say, Mama, what is there in the refrigerator to eat? I used to be really good, and right here on the side of the fridge, I would have a leftover list, and they could just look on it so that they would know what was in the fridge, and if it was a leftover that they wanted, they'd be able to look for it and pull it out. Okay, this is what I do. I look at all of this and I start separating it. This is how you can make yourself some meals, even from leftovers. I've got pickled jalapenos. I know those aren't bad. I know that that can go with avocado, guacamole, and my avocados to do something Mexican. This is beef and broccoli still very good. I only made it like three nights ago. And here's some more broccoli. So that can go together. This is, hmm. Oh, that was that gravy that I made last week with the chicken and the beef left over. So that's still good. Okay. Chicken Alfredo. That was probably two weeks ago. That's a no-go. Nobody likes to be the one to clean the kitchen when it's a um, fridge clean-out day. I know that this taco pasta, how that has escaped the last two weeks, I do not know. But that is no good. Just to give you the size of this bowl, there's my hand. It's a pretty big bowl. The pigs will get all of that this morning. And they'll be very grateful. Chickens will get some of it as well. This is lettuce that is past its prime. Oh, there's some cucumbers in there as well. And if I've got anything else to put in that bowl, I'll have to get me another bowl. Set these over in the sink. My sweet husband loaded the dishwasher for me this morning. So that was a blessing. Let's just see what this is. More chicken alfredo. Maybe that will fit right there. Okay. I've got some taco dip that can go with the guacamole and stuff. I've got some. What is this? 
Yes. So that is um, honey mustard and bacon chicken, still good. Roasted potatoes and cornbread. I'll put that in with the honey mustard and bacon chicken. This is, I know, a leftover that I had from last week's dinner to go. Taco turkey with rice and beans. That goes right down here in the Mexican section. These tortillas. Someone put them in without um, without closing the. But I'm wondering if I instead of throwing those away, if I can make them into a casserole with that Mexican stuff. We'll think about that. Uh, vegetable soup that my daughter opened last night. So. Um, sweet and sour pork chops that I made last night. Macaroni with sausage. I'm going to set that right there with that chicken. And then, I tell you what, if we could keep from wasting so much salad, we would have it made. I'm just going to put that there because I do have this watermelon rind that needs to go in. That's going to be it for that bowl. Um, that is sausage and egg and potato hash, which will go well with that macaroni and sausage. And this, yeah, it hit the floor, so most of it is stuck to the lid. This is spaghetti sauce that I don't want to toss. Um, I'm afraid of this. Yeah, that's, I don't know what that, whoa. That's got stuck way back there. <laughs> My husband makes biscuits every morning, but he makes too many biscuits every morning. And then at the end of the week, or at the end of two weeks, I'll just make biscuits and gravy. That's how we use up all those extra biscuits. He is starting to pare it down just a little bit. All right, we got some spaghetti sauce. We got some garlic bread. This is stone ground mustard. It got squeezed out. That's that chicken and gravy. I don't know what to do with that. That stands alone. And I'll have to check this corn, but if it's good, I'll slice it off the cob and put it with the Mexican. So, I've got beef and broccoli for lunch. I've got Mexican. I've got chicken and roasted potatoes. And then I've got a sausage macaroni, which I can put the rest of that spaghetti sauce into and make that kind of a pasta bake. And depending on, this chicken is good. Depending on what the gravy tastes like, I may even put that in there. Listen, if you don't eat like this, that's fine. But these are kind of um, tight times. They're tight around our house. Added to the tightness is the fact that um, we're planning a wedding. And so, if you would never ever do this with your leftovers, that's fine. But if you want to know how to possibly make your leftovers into another meal, this is what that is. I have a Mexican meal. I have a beef and broccoli meal. I have a baked pasta meal that I'll probably add a little cheese to the top. I have a chicken and roasted potato meal four meals from leftovers. I also have all of these biscuits. I have sweet and sour pork chops that I made last night. So that's five meals. And my daughter got some vegetable soup out of the freezer. So that's six. So as far as this week's dinners and lunches are concerned, I have six meals that I can pull from that I didn't have to buy any groceries for. So, in this house, we call that an Averett fix, and I think that's pretty good. Hope your day is as good as mine. I'll put the casseroles that I end up with in a new video. So like, share, 
and subscribe. Bye-bye.